Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, semicircle confined in a rectangle as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the radius for this semicircle is 13 units and moreover the side length uh, PQ of this uh, rectangle is uh, 16 uh, units and this uh, line segment uh, PD is uh, 8 uh, units. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded rectangle ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first step we are going to look at. We are going to calculate the area of this uh, rectangle ABCD. So therefore, we must... Uh, calculate the length DC and the width AD. And now let's focus on the radius of this uh, semicircle which is uh, 13 units. So therefore this radius uh, has got to be 13 and likewise uh, this radius is going to be 13 as well. So therefore this whole diameter QT is going to be 13 plus 13 is going to give us 26 units. And since we are dealing with this uh, rectangle, so therefore this side length uh, QT is going to be this side length uh, PC. If this side length uh, is uh, 26, then this uh, side length uh, PC is going to be 26 units as well. But we know that this uh, line segment uh, PD is uh, 8 units. So therefore, uh, this uh, line segment uh, CD is going to be 26 uh, minus 8 is going to make uh, 18 units. And now as you can see, we have figured out uh, one of the side lengths uh, of uh, this uh, yellow shaded rectangle ABCD which is 18 units and now we are going to calculate this side length uh, AD. So let's assume this side length uh, is uh, X units and here's our next step. Let's go ahead and connect uh, this uh, point uh, A with this uh, point E and this center O and as a result we get this uh, right uh, triangle uh, AEO. And now we can see this QEDP, this is our rectangle. So therefore this side length QE is going to be equal to this side length PD. If this side length is 8 units, this side length QE is going to be 8 units as well. But we know that this QO is the radius of this semicircle. So that is 13 units. So therefore this uh, side length uh, EO is going to be 13 minus 8 uh, is going to give us uh, 5 units. So therefore uh, this side length uh, EO turns out to be 5 units. And moreover in this uh, rectangle uh, this side length uh, PQ is equal to this side length uh, DE. If this is 16 units uh, this has got to be 16 units as well. But we know that this uh, side length uh, AD is uh, X. So therefore, uh, this side length uh, AE is going to be 16 minus uh, X. So therefore, this side length uh, AE turns out to be 16 minus X. Finally, we know that this uh, AO is the radius of this uh, semicircle. So this is going to be 13 units. And now we can see that this uh, AEO is a right uh, triangle. So therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call this longest leg as our side C. I'm going to call this side A and this side B. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. A in our case is 5. So this is going to become 5 square plus b is 16 minus x whole square equal to 13 whole square. And now let's go ahead and simplify. 5 square is going to give us 25 
plus uh, and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square equals to a square minus 2 ab plus uh, b square so this is going to give us uh, 256 minus uh, 32 x uh, plus uh, x square equals to 13 square on the right hand side is going to give us uh, 100 and 69 so let's go ahead and combine the like terms so this is going to give us a 281 minus 32 x plus x square equal to 169 and now let's go ahead and subtract 169 from both sides this on the right hand side they are gone so on the left hand side we are going to get 112 minus 32x plus x square equal to 0. Let's go ahead and rearrange them in a descending order. So that is going to give us x square minus 32x plus 112 equal to 0. And now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by grouping and factoring. So therefore, let's go ahead and tweak this uh, middle part, negative uh, 32, x could be written as uh, negative uh, 4x uh, minus uh, 28x. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever, as you can see in this uh, next step. And now we can see between first these two terms, uh, x is in common, and between these last two terms, uh, negative uh, 28 is in common. So therefore, we are going to factor out x. So we got uh, x minus 4 and here I'm going to factor out negative 28 so we got uh, x minus 4 as well equal to 0 and now we can see x minus 4 and x minus 4 they are in common so therefore we can write uh, x minus 4 times uh, x minus 28 equal to 0 now we are going to separate these two factors so i can write x minus 4 equal to 0 or the other one x minus 28 equal to 0 for this first equation our x value turns out to be positive 4 and for this second equation our x value turns out to be positive 28 we can see that this x equals to 28 value is unrealistic this is not uh, possible so therefore we are going to reject this x equal to 28 value and we are going to accept uh, this uh, x equal to 4 so therefore our this uh, x value turns out to be positive 4 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, rectangle a b c d now now let's recall the rectangle area formula area equals to length times width in our case uh, our length is 18 and our width is 4 so therefore the area of this uh, yellow shaded rectangle is going to be 18 times 4 and that is going to give us uh, 72 square units so thus the area of this uh, yellow shaded rectangle turns out to be 72 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye